What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, come here. Oh, come here, my little baby. Looky, 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 looky. Oh. As you can see by the title below, get out here now. Get. We are going to talk about why a guy was so able, so effortlessly able to pull away and not give a shit. Right? You, I mean, you're sitting there, you're having fun, you're goofing around, you think everything's going great, and then he's just kind of like, you know, uh, uh, whatever. And he gives up easily, and you're like, dude, what's going on? I thought everything was going great. You know, a lot of women, they, they like my, all of my clients, they would describe their relationships kind of going like this, and then all of a sudden going like that. And they're like, why in the hell did it have that big dip? Uh, out of nowhere, okay? So that's kind of what I want to talk about here. Now, before we get started, if you can, please subscribe if you want more videos like this and on dating. Just click the red button below. No, get, get out of here. Click the red button below. Uh, at the same time, if you want to work with yours truly or get one of my guides, I have a free guide also down in the description, okay? So here's the thing. There's a lot of reasons why a guy might pull away first off, okay? It could be competition, meaning you're not as scarce or you're or you know the thing he's actually looking for. Let's say he's looking for a relationship with a cool girl, or good looking girl, and if you're playing the games or you're or you're not coming off what you know the way he, he he's really feeling or looking for or the chemistry's not there and it's stronger with someone else, well then he has options, right? When you're with one person, you don't really have options, so you got to play your cards differently. But when you start having options, um, I forgot what the saying was. It says one. It says one was no choice, two's a dilemma, and three is options, right? So when the guy starts talking to more girls, he's kind of she's kind of more chill about it. He kind of has an upper hand um, in an indirect way with you. Uh, another reason would be the red flags, right? Maybe you're doing something that pushes a guy away. Maybe you're doing something that freaks a guy out. Um, I, and I would say 90% of the time, it's usually when a woman's coming off too strong. And I say 90% of the time because I can't think of any other reason, uh, real reason, I'll get into this in a little bit, Besides another woman being in the picture, that a guy will pull away. Now, women will say, well, you know, my guy used the excuse of being busy at work or family problems or he just got out of a relationship so he's not ready for another one. And I call bullshit on all that because if a guy truly likes you, he will not put himself in a position to lose you, number one. Number two, those are just excuses, you know, because the woman's trying to take up too much of his time. Like if a guy says something like, I'm just not ready for a relationship. That's, I mean, if I truly liked you, this is how I would go about it. I would say, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm ready for a relationship. I'd like to keep talking to you if you want, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just being straight honest with you so there's no bullshit here. Da, 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 you know, and just be, I mean, I would think I would be honest with you because just because I can't have a relationship doesn't mean I don't want you in my life. You get what I'm saying? But a lot of women don't see it like that. They'll hear a guy make some bullshit excuse and then they'll go with it in terms of hoping to have a relationship later on that she kind of lowers her value and lowers her standards. And the guy's like, well, now she knows I don't have a relate or I don't want a relationship or I'm not really looking for one. So basically we're friends with benefits now, you know, where, uh, Hey, Hey, Come on, you know we're friends with benefits, uh, and he's gonna keep you. He's gonna drag it out because there's no deadline, right? If he said I'm not, I don't want a relationship, and you keep going with what you guys been doing, and that new statement is set in stone or on paper, then he's gonna be like, well, I have no. There's no incentive on me uh, dating you because yeah, I'm getting what I want. And you're still going to be there, even though I told you I don't want this. Uh, so why would I commit, right? So that's the second reason. Third reason, like, like I said, a lot of the times women come off way too strong. And when I say that, I mean they put the cart before the horse. Like I said before, one of the main reasons the guy pulls away is because a woman um, pressures him. When a guy truly likes a girl, I don't think he will leave unless there's pressure. Um, actually, I, I actually I take that back. I think if he truly likes a girl, he would probably just commit to her. But the reason a lot of guys do pull away is pressure in some way. Now, I would have a lot of clients say, 
uh, well, you know, I don't bring up titles. I don't bring up where we're going, where we've been, things like that. And I tell women all the time, sometimes it's not about that. It's just the vibe. It's the eagerness. It's the intensity that freaks the guy out. Like a guy will know without a fact. I'm telling you, just like women have that intuition and that gut feeling, guys know are really good at feeling the vibe. Guys are really good at feeling, damn, she's fucking digging me, right? They have to know that because our job as men is to provide and satisfy. It's to see if the woman's interested in us, to see if we have a chance. I mean, so that so guys are really good at seeing those kind of things. So what actually pulls a, uh, a guy away? Like what makes it so easy for him to um, say, nah, I ain't about it? Besides the fact that maybe he just wasn't in, or you know interested in a relationship in the first place 90% of the time like i said it's because the girl rushes it uh i i can't stress that enough i always tell women focus on attraction just focus on attraction if you focus on attraction, you'll get the dates, okay? If you focus on attraction, the relationship will come. If you focus on attraction, he'll text you more. If you focus on attraction, he'll want to see you more. He'll want to invest more time in you, effort, energy. What I call your resources, you know, time, energy, money, effort, those kind of things. He'll invest more resources in you. And the more he invests in you, uh, the more likely he's going to like you. You have more time to win him over. A lot of women will... Uh, try to cut you know cut it short and get a guy to commit fast out of validation purposes you know or seeking his approval she's afraid he's gonna pull away so she she goes for broke and it freaks the guy out but I always tell women if you just focus on attraction right um, and maintain that and build that attraction then the relationship will follow okay a lot of women try to cut it short and they try to get the absolute they're like i need that relationship and so they start pushing towards and again you don't have to say it sometimes it's just intensity sometimes it's just your eagerness your availability and when you're so eager so intense and so available like i said earlier the guy has no incentive on dating because he can have his cake and eat it too. You're not going anywhere. He knows you're wrapped around his finger. I have so many clients who will have guys treat them like trash. The guys will go away and do their own thing or pull away. Well, they, well, they don't think they treat them like trash. My clients don't think they treat them like trash because the guy's more human to her, right? They have those exchange, exchanges. They have those talks, those feelings, those emotions. There, they, there's times where they were intimate. Uh, and things like that. So I can understand where she sees him as a human, but when you're looking at it from my perspective and the guy pulls away and then he comes back and he does this and he does that, I tell him, hon, the reason he's he's coming back and the reason he's doing what he's doing is because one, you, you have no standards, right? Uh, and two, because you let him do what he's doing. If you're trying just to keep the guy in your life, then the guy's gonna be in your life but he's going to treat you very casual because there's no incentive. Again, if he goes away and does his own thing and every time he comes back, you're taking him back. Or when he goes away, you reach out to him. He knows he has you wrapped around his finger. So why, why would he put more effort in you? Why would he put more time, energy, you know, things? I mean, it's like, it's like if you're growing a business. Now, I, I, I don't want to say business. It's just like if you're growing something, right? And let's just say it's maxed out. Whatever you're trying to grow it maxed out. What's the point of you? It's like beating a dead horse. What's the point of you keep on doing it when you can go out and get more or do more? Now, a relationship will develop if, I always tell women, if you balance these kind of things right, if you build the, build the, uh, the, the rapport, the chemistry, you build all those kind of things. And again, you balance this kind, kind of stuff out. You ain't being a bitch but you ain't being too scarce at the same, or too available at the same time. It has to be a good, healthy amount of seeing each other to the point where he gradually starts to like you and he just wants to spend more and more time with you. But at the, you know, like I said, a lot of the times, a guy or a woman will be too eager with it and, and it'll freak the guy out and or she will try to push it 
without selling the guy on the idea that hey I'm the real shit and I know a lot of women will leave say something in the comments where you know oh I shouldn't have to prove myself love shouldn't be this difficult yes it is it should be it is difficult you know why because you have competition why just because you like the guy you think you deserve him you know a lot of people out there think they're nines or tens when they're not you know and, and I, that sounds harsh, but a lot of people think, oh, I'm so nice to this guy. I'm so good to him. Well, maybe he's not looking. For, I mean, of course, he's looking for a girl who's nice and a girl who's sweet and a girl who's loyal. But a lot of women are that, you know, and if you're not winning him over on what he's actually looking for, I don't think he's going to commit. But like I said, a lot of the times, the reason a guy does not commit, or it's so easy for her, for him, I'm going to sum it up here. The reason a guy is so able to easily let you go is because I think you did not win him over when you tried to make the sale, right? You have to make the sale. You have to ask, for, you have to you have to close. It's just like, I, I think a lot of people, if they want to get into really liking a guy, get into sales. You'll know the process on getting someone to like you. A lot of women will hang out for a, for a month and they're like, oh, I want this guy to be my boyfriend and things like that. But what they don't realize is the guy, maybe the guy's not sold yet. You know, you don't know where he started. He didn't start on the same page as you. You don't know where he started. Maybe he just got out of a divorce or out of a relationship or maybe he's not even wanting a relationship. You have to do your thing to win the guy over. I always tell women, if a guy doesn't like you, it's not his fault, it's yours. Right? It's your job to attract a guy. So when, it, when, it's, when a guy's able to pull away that easily, it's other competition. You gave him reasons to pull away, a.k.a. red flags, or you tried to close too early and the guy just wasn't, he, he wasn't sold yet. Okay? So with that being said, ladies, there you go. I went on a little rant there. I was a little all over the place. It's about a 12-minute video. But that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care. Subscribe if you haven't. And peace.